they already told me that they already cut me open and etc and yeah. it was a surprise mm -hmm. we realized that um, she was coiled there was a wrap around her so it was good that we did a c-section hi guys it's march 14 and i'm currently at makati med and it has been four days since my c-section originally i had planned to have the scheduled c-section on march 13 but she decided to come earlier than expected and she came out March 10, young. Yeah. And it's been a crazy experience just because I, I guess I wasn't mentally prepared and because I've been so scared of the whole procedure, I wasn't even ready to even, I guess, give birth on that day. So I'm gonna just walk you through the whole experience and then you're gonna see some footage of what it was like. I was able to get permission from Dr. Manahan and Makati Medical and everyone was so professional and they, allow me to film this whole experience for you. For those who have fears, etc., this is the video for you to watch. And I can also talk about some aftercare, but we can talk about that another video. So today is just all about the C-section experience. Now, I've decided to stay for six days in the hospital. It's not what usual people do, just because I had some things in the house that need to get fixed and I really wasn't ready and I wanted to make sure that I learned by, I guess, I learned by doing. So I wanted to learn from the nurses. So I, I've stayed a little bit longer and I'm staying here till Thursday. Anyways, so to start off, on March 10, I experienced contractions in the morning at 10 a.m. And it was a very interesting experience because I just never thought I would have to go through that. I was trying to avoid it by scheduling a c-section but i was on my 38th week and you never know these things happen and what happened was i texted dr manahan when i noticed droplets of blood coming out when i went to the bathroom and then i started to feel like really uneasy now the feeling usually of contractions like early signs of contractions is really like you need to go to the bathroom and but you can't and it's, nothing's coming out that like you need to poop really badly. That's what it feels like. Or for ladies, you have cramps. Now the cramps come and go and they come in intervals. So I actually took note of how like the waves of pain that was coming through. So I would experience it for like 40 seconds or so and then it would release and then it would come back after 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So this was going on for like four hours long and yeah. And then Dr. Manahan was like, okay, you should come in to get checked in the delivery room just to see if you are actually in labor. Mm -hmm. And I remember texting him being like, no, I don't want, I don't want to do this now because I have such a big fear of this whole thing. This is one of the mm -hmm. biggest fears that I have to, had to overcome in my life. And then Dr. Manahan checked on me and then he was like, yo, you one centimeter dilated. Mm -hmm. And then you have to do it now. So they were like really quick. Like he was saying, okay, come get ready. And he was super professional and Pat came after. And then he, they were already walking me through the whole process. And then Dr. De Jesus, who is the uh, person that was going to administer the epidural. So I got into the room and then they like pushed me into this, the delivery room. And then they started like scrubbing me and making sure that I was clean. And then Dr. De Jesus, who is the epidural anesthesiologist, yeah. and he came in and he's like, okay, I'm gonna wipe you down, and then I'm gonna put the long needle in, and then it's it goes into your back. Now, I've watched a lot of procedures and I know how long that needle is and it's scary, but the feeling of the epidural is pretty much like blood extraction, but on your back, and then you just have a cool sensation that runs through the spine. And it's definitely never not as bad as when I got my eye surgery. That was even worse. So let's just put it that way. For those who have really a big fear of epidural, it wasn't that bad. And I was awake the entire procedure. So once the epidural kicks in, you start feeling a heavy weight on you. Like my legs were really, really heavy. 
and they start like wiping you down you start feeling this weird sensation like people are cleaning you but then at the same time it's not like the usual sensation when people touch you um like it's almost like plasticky and then you don't feel anything anymore the only thing you feel is like movement i feel movement yeah yeah it's me moving you <laughs> so they started the procedure they already told me that they already cut me open and etc and yeah. it was a surprise mm -hmm. so i i was already shocked that they were already going through it and the whole thing lasted for about 30 minutes pretty much mm -hmm. i think the anesthesia was took longer than usual only thing that feels weird is when they take the baby out Okay, here's your baby. One quart coil. One quart coil, huh? And we realized that um, she was coiled. There was a wrap around her, so it was good that we did a C-section. Here she is, huh? Congratulations. There was a quart coil, that's why. Good, we got her out, huh? Yeah. Congratulations, guys. And then also that, I guess, you also like find out things about in your body, like I had endometriosis um, that was spotted and which explains why my period is painful and I have cramps every month now. I never had cramps before and that is because of endometriosis. So it was a very interesting experience. I highly recommend it. The staff at Makati Medical here in the Philippines is really professional and they were good. Um, so far, the experience has been great. I have aftercare stuff that has worked for me. Just a brief explanation. My friends did recommend things that were really good. My top two things is a big water jug. This one I got from Lazada and then this one on Amazon. This is a Freedom Mom C-section aftercare kit. It comes with like a band, a recovery band, and then disposable high-waisted underwear because you're going to be bleeding. And then they have other things to help you clean like cooling gel pads that are really nice for your C-section area and even socks. It's really good. One thing they make you wear after the whole surgery is this long sock to prevent swelling and like keep it everything intact. I was able to stand on the first day or second day already. It was very easy, like it wasn't as painful and you have like drugs <laughs> in you so it's fine. And I just had the help of the bed to get up and yeah, I have this room. And then I'm on like a meal plan, which my mom, she makes this soup. I can show you what it looks like and I can walk you through that next time. And this is not for everybody. Mm -hmm. If you are interested in it or in the procedure at all, you also have to consult your doctor to see if it fits you. As I've said, like, like this whole C-section thing caused like some controversy. I got personal messages from people saying that like, you should go through natural birth and why are you making the decision to go through c-section when you don't have what like why is it a choice for you first and foremost i understand that i have the privilege to make that decision however also i did consult my doctor and it is what makes me feel safe and comfortable knowing my body and my limits the last two months have been so difficult for me because I've had a hard time walking. It's been so painful. And you have to just, I guess, consult yourself and then consult a professional to see what works best for you. And the C-section was overall a really good experience. If you want to know who my doctor is, the people that have administered it, everything is in the description down below. It's like their whole team and stuff, right? It's a whole yeah. Team. I have pictures, etc. We had the resident there and it's it's a group of people and Dr. Marahan is the one like captaining everything. Yeah. He has years of experience and he's really, really good. So I highly recommend him and also Dr. De Jesus who administered that anesthesia because I did not feel anything after. Mm -hmm.
and it was literally a breeze for me like i i have the biggest fear of giving birth and this just like went away you did it why i did it you i did overcame it, one of my biggest fears you guys did it, <laughs> I'm allergic also to a lot of things. So they administered morphine, and I was itchy everywhere, Advil, and then also, what's it called? Aspirin. Yeah, I'm allergic to those things. Well, that's it. Because I, I haven't been able to talk about the whole other experiences. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It helps and supports me and my journey to kind of sharing all these details with you. Let me know if you have any questions comments, suggestions, mm -hmm. and yeah, that's it. Bye everyone. See you in the next pregnancy video.